His hands have held pencils, phones, maybe even a protest sign. They have built, drawn and dreamed. And one day, they will hold our future. So, when I was a kid, I asked questions that made many people laugh at me. Even my parents does. I asked, why can school can flag discovery instead of duty? Why do we build machines smarter than us, but forgot to be kind? And well, you know what they said? They said, son, you'll understand once you're getting older. <laughs> and well, I'm older now, but I still can't understand why. By 2050, our generation will decide what will survive and what will disappear. Will that future will be the one where we use artificial intelligence to replace our heart? Where oceans are full of plastic and toxic waste? The answer depends on us, the voice of tomorrow. Innovation doesn't begin in a lab. It starts in our own mind. In what if and why not? And take a look of this example. Mr. William from, K from Malawi, East Africa, built a windmill from a scrap of metal to solve his village water shortage problem when he was only 14. Ms. Faye for, from Indonesia found Ruma Faye to protect children from exploitation and toxic parents when she was only 13. And Mr. Richard from Kenya invent a thing called lion lights to protect both his family cattle and wild lions when he was 12. They try to say that science is no longer about memorizing facts, it's about rewriting them. And for example, Mr. Arbor and Stans say that imagination is more important than knowledge. Well, he didn't mean that our knowledge isn't useful or didn't matter. He said that we, imagination is how we push society to its better place. And today, young scientists are growing meat without killing animals, turning plastic into a clean fuel, and coding AIs that save life faster than Dr. Kent. And how we pass this test called the future, we speak not later but now. We turn why into why not, and someday into today. And to every young person watching this video, never stop wondering your idea. Never stop asking why. Your idea might sound small, cliche, or scary, but so did every spark before it turns into a flame. Because we are no longer waiting for tomorrow. We are tomorrow. We are the voice of tomorrow. I am Safier. Thank you.